Today I'm going to show you TinyCam Pro on a Fire TV device. This could be a stick or a cube or even a Fire TV. You download that app and then you can see your Wise Cams on that device, so on your TV. Now once you've downloaded that app, you just have to search for TinyCam Pro on Fire TV. Then you can open up the application and you go through a couple of screens. Now once you get to the end, up top left you can see a yellow cursor and I just move it over to the right and say add an IP cam. Now I go down and the first thing we're going to do is rename the camera here and I've renamed it to basement which matches up with my wise cam but that's not required. The next thing I'm doing is choosing the camera brand which is wise labs and now I need to choose the camera model. So wise cam was chosen in this case because that's what I have. Now if you happen to have installed the RTSP first firmware on your wise cam then you can actually switch over to one of those protocols the next thing you're going to do is put in the login credentials for your wise cam and if you have two-factor authentication turned on you will get a notice for this on your smartphone that has been set up as the two-factor authentication number Next up, you are going to actually scroll down to the bottom and go to advanced settings and the channel number is what you compare inside of the application. Now the channel number is the number from the top of the camera that you would like to display. And yes, you will have to set this up multiple times if you have multiple cameras. So I've chosen channel number five, which would mean that I am pulling the fifth item in the list in the WISE application in to tiny cam pro now you go up to the top after you've done all this and you go to camera status and if you don't see some information start to populate here you see an IP address and then you will see some wise devices down at the bottom if you don't see any of this information then you have not configured this correctly or your camera is just not able to connect to this device now note on the wise devices at the bottom it actually says camera basement camera so that's my channel channel number that's how I chose channel number five once I've done this I'm going to hit back and that camera is now configured so I can go to the live view so now you're able to see your wise cams and the other thing is if you add multiple the screen will split and you can see multiple and then click into any of the cameras now thank you for watching automate your life's tutorial about how to get your wise cams onto a fire tv this works for android devices of any kind as well but you need to buy that tiny cam pro application each time so i hope this has helped make sure you click that subscribe button here on the the channel or watch some of our other wise tutorials on automate your life thanks for watching and of course don't hate automate